Welcome. Let's learn about inequalities. Inequalities today on 4-6, practice and problem solving for Envision for sixth grade. How you guys doing today? Doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Let's see. We have less than. We have greater than. We, and that will be used, we'll do an open circle. We have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, and that will be a closed circle. Remember that. Remember that for later. It's not in this lesson, but in the next lesson. But let's see here. Let's see. A minimum of six people, P, must ride in the van. A minimum of six people. So that means in order to rent the van, you've got to have at least six people riding in it. You could have more, but you've got to have a minimum of six people. So that means the number of people that can ride the van would be greater than or equal to six. Okay, greater than or equal to six. It, that means it includes six or more. Let's see if we get it right. The number of days D of hail is not 15. It's not 15. That means it's not equal to 15. That means not equal to. Let's see if we get that right. The distance of the race R is farther than 5.3. That means it doesn't include 5.3. It's got to be greater than. So it's greater than 5.3. The value V of the watch is less than 81. Now, guys, does that include 81? No doesn't it's less than 81 so we got to use the less than sign and by the way guys i'm going to foreshadow what we're going to be doing next um next lesson you'll make a graph like this and you'll have 80 81 and 82 and what you'll do is for less than or greater than it will be an open circle now what are some values that would make this true would would 82 is less than 81 work? No. Would 80 is less than 81? Yeah, so we're going to shade this way. We're going to shade it that way. And this is the graph that you'll that you'll you'll do in just a little bit. And next topic you'll do it. And I wonder why it's not uh, wonder check answer is not working. Envision. All right, guys, let's look at this one. Define a variable and write an inequality to multiply the given situation. A light bulb can be no more so that's a keyword, underline that, no more than sixty watts to be safely used in this light fixture. So could it be 60? Yeah, it could be 60. Could it be more than 60? No. Could it be less? Yes. So it would be less than or equal to 60. If W is the light bulb's wattage, which of the following inequality models the given situation? So the wattage has to be less than, this symbol is less than or equal to 60. I'll read these to you. This is W is greater than 60. This is W is greater than or equal to 60. This is W is less than or equal to 60. And this is W is less than 60. So I find a lot of sixth graders, they, they, they don't know how to read this going down. They, don't, they can't say W is greater than 60 here. W is greater than or equal to 60. So that's why I wanted to read those to you, just to make sure you know how to do it in that you're math literate. The speed of the van S must be no more than 62 miles per hour. So could it be 62? Yes. Could it be more than no? Could it be less? Yes. So less than or equal to 62. So S has to be less than or equal to 62. 
let r equal the number of inches of rainfall. The record for the town's greatest rainfall is 20.8 inches. Write an inequality to represent a rainfall that would beat this record. So we want to beat the record, not tie it. So it does not include 20.8. So the number, the inches of rainfall has to be greater than 20.8. The first bookshelf in the humor section of the library can hold 1,560 books. The bookshelf has five shelves. Each shelf can hold the same number of books. How many books can each shelf hold? Write an equation to help solve this problem. So 5B equals 1,560. And now the inverse of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. So we're going to do... 1,560 divided by 5 to solve it, and we get 312. To ride a certain ride at a carnival, to ride a certain carnival ride, a rider must be more than 46 inches tall. So more than, greater than. To represent the situation Bart wrote H is greater than or equal to 46, and Pamela wrote H is greater than 46. Who is correct? Well, listen, guys, you got to be more than 46. So it can't be greater than or equal to 46. So Pam is correct. Pam is correct. The writers must be taller than 46. So the variable cannot be equal to 46. That's correct. All right, guys. Next, next lesson, we're going to be graphing. Thanks for joining me today for 4 6 practicing problem solving on Envision. I'll see you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye.